Yeah. Something deeply stupid is going on in our culture. And although I'm sure there's a temptation on the part of millennials to say, I just don't understand it because I'm older. No, I understand it. It's not hard to understand. It's just fucking stupid. <laughs> Look at these people. They traveled thousands of miles to take a shitty picture of the Mona Lisa. <laughs> the most reproduced image in the history of the world. There's a postcard of it in the gift shop downstairs. <laughs> this is the actual Mona Lisa. Look at it. <laughs> Here's something even worse. And not just because the people in the shop think a man in a white dress has magical powers. <laughs> no, because they've got maybe 10 seconds to actually see their hero. And they're choosing to give that up to view him through a phone. Gosh, if there only existed some sort of professional whose job it was to take great photos of big events so you could enjoy the moment, we could call them photographers. <laughs> you know, if I met the Pope, I'd want to look him in the eye. I'd want to feel those Popey vibes. <laughs> I'd want to see if he could make me cry like John Boehner. <laughs> and look at this. The Pope visited a classroom, and the kids were turning their backs on him to take selfies. Someone should have told those kids, you're never going to get another chance to actually meet this man. And also, for God's sake, kids, never turn your back on a priest. <laughs> <laughs> you know, virtual reality is great, but you know what virtual means? It means almost. Stop living an almost life. Walk down any vibrant city street today, and you'll see hundreds of people ignoring it while staring into their phones. In New York, there's something interesting to look at every three feet. A street performer, a peddler selling African art, a mime being murdered, <laughs> uh, a rat carrying a pizza, <laughs> Bill Cosby coming out of a drugstore, uh, Chris Christie fighting a rat for a pizza. <laughs> And you want to look at your phone? Even when people do actually get together, they're not all there. Half the time you're out to dinner with people, they want the phone on the table just to check. <laughs> in case something better comes in. Happened to me the other night. I was so insulted, I could barely take pictures of the food. <laughs> It would be like in the middle of talking to you fine people if I was also checking up on another audience. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, most distressing of all polls show that up to 10% of people now look at their phone during sex. <laughs> Call me old fashioned, but I still think that during sex, the handheld device should be your dick. <laughs> What's next? <laughs> Texting the person you're actually fucking? Are you close? <laughs> no service. <laughs> How the fuck am I supposed to come now? All right, that's our show. I'll be at the